Claire Kreitz spoke with those in law enforcement and those who organized a protest last year in North Little Rock shortly after Floyd's death. And she joins us live from the Capitol where they were prepared in case of more protests today. But Claire, things stayed pretty quiet. Yeah, no one here right now, but you can see these barriers in preparation for that verdict to come in. But with Chauvin being found guilty on all charges, it was exactly what many in this community had hoped for. Members of the jury, I will now read the verdicts. It was a moment. All eyes were glued to the TV. I'm watching it, and I'm like, maybe, maybe this isn't going to happen. Maybe he won't get convicted, or maybe it's going to be a lesser charge. Keisha Cobb organized protests in North Little Rock following the death of George Floyd and like thousands of others. She was on the edge of her seat, waiting to see whether Officer Derek Chauvin would be found innocent or guilty, and of which charge. It's our sons, our brothers, our fathers, our uncles. You can feel the emotion in my voice right now. We're not confident sometimes in the judicial system. As the verdict came in, guilty. She had a sigh of relief. It was surreal. It was very surreal. Uh, it still is. Personally, it's what I expected. For Pulaski County Sheriff Eric Higgins, he says the conviction was a no brainer. Um, I think if you look at the evidence that was presented, um, I think the jury made the right decision. As a law enforcement officer overseeing an entire department, he says it's important officers are held to the same, if not higher, standard. We have to be held accountable. I think it was good for the community to see uh, a conviction. For Cobb, she hopes this is the first step in police reform. I hope this is not some kind of example that's set. This is a standard that is set and says this verdict shows voices were heard. I'm proud. I think what we all need to know is that the world came together, stood up and said, we don't like this and something happened. Today at the city's board meeting, Mayor Frank Scott Jr. started it off with a moment of silence following the verdict. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. All right, Claire, thank you so much. Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, meanwhile, released a statement following today's verdict saying, quote, the jury verdict in the Chauvin trial should instill confidence in our justice system. We must learn from this tragedy that bad actors will be held accountable in a court of law, and we as leaders must encourage civil discourse instead of civil unrest to address our differences.